Hi everybody, we have a lot to talk about in the weather department and really the big story is the high heat and high humidity. We're actually in weather alert mode because we do want to let you know that this is kind of a dangerous heat scenario. Uh, we have a heat advisory in effect for the entire state. It is going to be feeling at times like the upper 90s, if not 100 degree heat out there. And there is some relief on the way, but it's going to take some time to get here. Not really until the end of the week, later Thursday, Friday, we're going to start to see temperatures cool down and also the humidity, humidity levels drop off. Now we do have a heat advisory in effect, as I mentioned, for the entire state. This goes out uh, through the day today, through tomorrow, and perhaps maybe even needed to extend into Wednesday. We'll certainly keep you posted on that, but uh, really the high heat continues and the high humidity continues right through the middle part of the week. Now this is Futurecast in terms terms of the feels like heat index value. This is what it's going to be feeling like this afternoon. If you're going to be outside, maybe you have to work outside. Maybe you've got uh, plans to head to a pool, the lake or whatever you've got going on. Inland Connecticut, upper 90s to triple digit heat, a little bit cooler along the shoreline cooler, not really the best word, maybe a little bit more bearable, I should say. Tomorrow, <laughs> more bearable, right? Tomorrow, uh, much of the same, upper 90s to near 100, and even mid and upper 90s along the shoreline. And Wednesday, a similar scenario. Again, well into the 90s, if not 100 degrees is what it's going to be feeling like. So definitely, uh, hopefully the air conditioning is working. You've got a place to cool off. It's just not going to be a comfortable stretch. Now the dew point trend, we're up there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we start to drop off for Friday and the upcoming weekend. So we're kind of in that tropical air mass and it's going to be sticking around for again a few days. Nothing on live early warning pinpoint Doppler and we do think that most of us will stay dry today. There's a chance in western Connecticut there may be an isolated shower or thunder shower popping on up. We have a better chance tomorrow afternoon and even better chances as we head towards Wednesday and it'll be the kind of scenario where not everybody sees a shower or a storm but the towns that do get them will get a pretty good soaking just thanks to the amount of moisture there is in the atmosphere. 71 currently in Norwich but already we we have a feels like temperature of 76 and it's only in the five o'clock hour this morning. Woodbridge 7, Walcott 70, 70 not 7, 70 in Walcott and 72 in Durham with a feels like temperature in Durham of 77. And our neighbors all around are also dealing with the heat. Look at Burlington, Vermont, 80 degrees right now, 78 in New York City, 75 in Buffalo and in Syracuse we have 82 degrees. Oh, our Harper camera just went down, but here's a live look right now from our Middletown camera where the sun is coming up over the Connecticut River and traffic moving along fine right along Route 9 and we'll check out New London. Things are looking good down there too. 69 degrees and that'll be a spot where you may want to head today to one of the area beaches. Futurecast pretty quiet today again a couple specks of green popping up but most of the activity stays to the west of Connecticut. Then for tomorrow a better chance for some showers and thunderstorms to develop in the afternoon and in, in the evening hours. So forecast highs today 90 to 95 hot and humid feeling hotter with that humidity down to about 75 overnight tonight, so a good night for the AC. And then for tomorrow, 95 degrees with a late day shower or storm. Showers and storms get a little more organized, it looks like Wednesday and especially into Thursday. And then we cool down to the lower 80s by Friday and the upcoming weekend. But on the back side of it, it looks like it could be an unsettled holiday weekend. We'll certainly keep you posted on that.